I don't know what I want to go for. <laughs> I think I'm going to aim her for Bow Knight because she's training with Claude right now, training which be she'll be able to level up archery defeat. stuff way faster as a result. So give me that. <laughs> this will be fun. This will be fun indeed. Okay, and then I'm also going to go ahead and switch Hilda to Wyvern Rider. And have her use that for a bit. She does not look nearly as good in the Wyvern outfit. As she does her base outfit. But I'm going to change her to Wyvern for now. Do, 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 do. Okay, cool. Anyone else? Bernadetta. Didn't I... Oh, I didn't give you Sniper. Why didn't I give you Sniper? Actually, can we just put in someone other than Bernadetta? Hey, get Petra in here. Why not get Petra in here? Are we good? I think I'm good. Train. This is going to be so difficult when I forget all of the things that I'm working characters towards. Like, what was I even working Balthus towards? I have no idea. It must have been one of these two. Was it Trickster? No, I wanted Dual Onslaught. So you're trying to get to Mortal Savant. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Balthus trying to get to Mortal Savant. So that's going to be mercenary. I'm going to need like a list of these written down somewhere. <laughs> I'm never going to bother with that though. I'm just going to try and remember every time. And if I mess up, I mess up. All right, Balthus. I do love this, by the way, the training thing and getting skills and abilities and whatnot in this game. I think it's really fun the way they have this. They have it set up in this game. I love it a lot. Still better than training on my own. For now. Okay, you are done with mercenary. Get to work on mastering assassin. Bum, bum, bum. Still better than training on my own. This power will. Yo, Dex plus two, getting up there. Training can be the different. With proper all right. training, you'll We've be used all of our training points. I still have more people to talk to. Oh, man. My legs are as strong as tree trunks after hoofing it all that way from Gronder. Now I gotta work on my upper body more to make sure everything's balanced. After all, this is gonna be my first battle with the Almirans. Gotta make sure I'm in tip top shape. Weren't, did, weren't you around when we fought the Almirans two years ago? Like, you were a part of that, weren't you? Hi, I have a lot of dishes to eat. Like, a lot. Allied Territories of Leicester, Book 2. A directory of information on each region within the Leicester Alliance, as it contains no confidential information, can be viewed and checked out freely. 1180 edition. Goneril, a duchy known for its undulating topography, which includes Fodlin's throat. The rare gemstones produced there are extremely popular with nobility. Goneril continued, owing to frequent skirmishes with neighboring Elmira, many warrior groups and mercenary bands have gathered there. Accordingly, mercantile trade catered to fighters is a large part of the economy. Ordelia, a county that spreads out west from the southern tip of Fodland's throat. The Aramid River forms the region's southern border. That water source allows for the cultivation of various crops, but production in recent years has been outdone by Gloucester. Spirit distilling is also robust in the territory, with Ordelia made Vada in particular being considered a luxury item. Yeah, the skilled, the skilled tree system in this game is incredibly well made, I agree. Edmund, a margraviate consisting of the northernmost point in Leicester, along with islands to its west. The mainland is a bustling and profitable hub of trade and is home to many merchants. Dangers abound, however, as the territory's islands are infested with pirates. Srang lies just across the waters to the north, and the Elmira Navy is close by as well. Albrecht, a barony that is well positioned as a hub of finance. Alright, not a lot going on there. Muller, a barony, though narrow, the region is almost entirely covered in woodlands, and its high quality lumber is exported throughout Leicester. Nilsson, a viscounty that protects the Eastern Church to which it is attached, and Cupola, 
a realm of mountain people. Strictly speaking, it is not an actual member of the Alliance. The region has some relations with its surrounding neighbors, though not to an extensive degree. Alright, well, you know. Alright, hit me with some Hunger meals. Is the true enemy. Mm, I think there's more than hunger that is the true enemy, but I'll take your word for it. Uh, Leonian Balthus it is. I am almost maxed out rank-wise with Leone. How did that happen? Nice. Yeah, the flavor's not really. What's up, dudes? Thanks. I love this. Who the heck is Shamir talking to? You should. Ba -da -ba -ba. Am I gonna commit to making Come Shamir a Lance person? Eye. I should like Hunger I should do that. Enemy. I should go switch her to Lance, like right now, and get on it if I'm gonna do it. Wait a minute. Make this instead. Hilda, Hilda. Yo, Cotton Candy Duo, look at all these A ranks. Yeah, the flavors. Dude, I'm really bad at getting this flavor here. I'm sorry. I'm not used to eating. You're a breath of fresh air. You really are. Oh, now Shamir's talking to Claude. Shamir's making the rounds. Come back whenever you're hungry. She's hungry out here chatting with everybody. What else can I get a buff on? Here we go. Give me some Daphnal stew. Claude and Holst. That didn't look good. Yo, yeah, the just cannot cook today. Just cannot cook today. Doesn't a meal made by a friend always taste better? Not true. Agreed. Maybe I'll treat you to something myself next time. I'm quite the skilled cook, if I may say. Is there anything Holst can't do? It's not fair. Come back whenever you're hungry. All right, we have the Hilda rank B chat. You don't have to worry about it. I still have more people to talk to. Yes, I must be telling you. As long as I am having a way to survive, I choose that always. But I am feeling relief not to be fighting the Empire again soon. I can be giving my full strength now. Hmm. I'm glad fighting old friends is never easy, even if you've truly switched sides. Ah. Uh. Yes, Lady Edelgard gave her blessing before my surrendering. But it is not easy to harmonize emotions, even for My rulers. Right now, I will be giving everything to defending against the Almiran attack. Hilda! Hiya. That reminds me. Fodlin's throat has a number of watchtowers built across its peak. The soldiers stationed there keep watch for any sign of movement from Almira. <laughs> even some houses from Goneril territory have been tasked with that important work for generations, too. Hilda is great. This. The Imperial Army hasn't made any further attempts to invade Leicester via Burgley's territory. We can't be certain of their plans, but we do know their main objective is to destroy the Central Church, mm. which means their forces are better spent on the Western Front rather than being wasted on us. Especially since I've heard that their conflict with the Kingdom over Arian Rod, Rod? Road? I don't know how to say this word. Has been ramping up. I love it. That's a real solid analysis, Shamir. All our information supports it. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. Besides, I would it would be more useful if I had any information on the Elmiran forces. Boy there. Hey there, Sonia. You must be exhausted after the long trek from Gondor. Hmm. Well, you had to hustle back much faster than us, Holst, so you won't see any complaining from me. Hmm. That's right, and it's not like we'd have time to rest anyway. It might take the enemy a while to get such a large army moving, but it won't be long before they go on the offensive. Uh -huh. It will be a catastrophe if Fodlin's locket falls to them. We must defend it at all costs. Okay. We still have supports to do, and I think we have a lot to do. Well, but otherwise, we're like caught up on everything other than needing to use like... Any results yeah, results. two more bits of time. How many supports do I have right now? Quite a few. 
Sonya's B rank with Holst and the C rank with Shamir. Claude and Hilda's B rank. All right, it shouldn't be too bad. You two just have your B rank with each other. Sonya has Holst and Shamir. And then I think it's just Marianne and Leone's B. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's do Marianne and Leone's B and get that out of here. Can't believe I didn't catch anything. Guess it's just that kind of day. Oh, hello, Leone. Hey, Marianne. Where are you off to? Nowhere. Um, I mean, I'm just on my way back from the stables. And you? Coming back from the world's lousiest hunting trip? I didn't even find a single track. And it's the first time I've been hunting in a while, too. Huh. <sighs> Talk about a waste of time. Oh, that's too bad. Um, but what is that you're holding? Oh, this? Just some weeds. Felt bad coming back completely empty-handed. I figured I could use some to fill up my meal, so I went and gathered them. Also grabbed some medicinal herbs while I was at it. Is that yellow flower edible, too? <laughs> no, not at all. It's not poisonous, but it's really bitter. It's one of my favorite flowers, though. They're so pretty, don't you think? I saw some blooming and just had to pick one. Yes, it's beautiful. All those tiny blossoms blooming from it. It seems almost... heroic. Merely looking at it gives me the strength to continue living for another day, no matter what obstacles may come. Dang, Marianne, dang! Can't say I've ever given it quite that much thought. Tell you what, why don't you take it? Are you sure? After you went and picked it... Hey, it's just a flower. It's yours. Thank you. No, I'll feel bad keeping this lovely flower all to myself. Maybe I can put it in a bouquet and place it in the mess hall for everyone to enjoy. You're always so thoughtful, Marianne. Oh, no, it's nothing. It's something, all right. But speaking of flowers, are there any you want me to keep an eye out for? I can pick whatever you like next time I go hunting. Hmm. Well, perhaps some mountain gooseberry? The little green berries, right? Oh, man, I love those. You can boil them up into jam, but I usually just eat the suckers by the handful wherever I find them. Yes, I was thinking they'd be perfect to feed the birds. Wait, you're giving them to birds? I'll eat them too, together with the birds. But there's something you have to watch out for. Uh, you mean the thorns, right? You're pretty knowledgeable about those little guys. Have you picked them before yourself? No, but the birds told me all about them. The birds told you. <laughs> Marianne, you actually made a joke. I love it. No, it's not... Uh, um, well, I'm glad it made you happy. What else have the birds been telling you, Marianne? Asking for a friend? All right, Hilda and Claude B rank. Hmm. We're beating the Empire in the smaller local battles, yes, but that barely puts a dent in their total power. We can fight all we want, but there's no defeating an army of that size. It may not be today or tomorrow, but that sea will swallow us up soon enough. Is it really responsible of me to keep letting the war drag on like this? You okay there, Claude? Looks like you have something on your mind. You know, they say you'll get wrinkles if you keep your brow furrowed like that all the time. Sounds like just the dignified look I need. People always tell me I'm not noble enough. Oh, come on. Everyone knows young and lively is the way to be. Really? It would sure be nice if the round table would propose strategies that are young and lively. They're all so conservative and selfish. I think a few lines here or there would actually help me fit in. Really? You know what they say. If you're too set in your ways, it'll set on your face. So whatever you do, just make sure you don't end up some beady-eyed king with a face full of wrinkles. I just can't win with you, can I? I think you're missing the point, Claude. What I'm saying is, you should do what you think is right, with enough vigor to blow any creases clean off your face. Hold on, do you even hear yourself right now? Who knows what would happen to the Alliance if I followed that advice? Hmm, you do have a point there. 
but at least you wouldn't have to worry about those pesky brow wrinkles anymore. And knowing you, Claude, I'm sure you'll find a way to break through this standoff. You really do have me beat. I feel like you can see straight through me. It's not hard when your thoughts are written so plainly on your face. All I have to do is read what's there. Guess I'd better try scrubbing them off then. As you should. Honestly, Hilda, I... I don't know what to do. Is my way really the right path forward? It feels like I'm rejecting everything Lester used to be up until now. Like I'm tearing something important away from the people who need it most. Are you sure you won't regret lighting this fire in me? I don't know. Maybe I will. I'll probably get mad at you at some point, too. But I know how hard you work to keep the Alliance heading in the right direction. You're the smartest leader we've ever had, Claude. If I was a betting girl, I'd say you're going to come up with the best plan ever, without a doubt. What a nice thing to say! Okay, we only had four supports, actually, which is less than I thought. Not too many to have to go through. <sighs> I should call it a day. You sticking around? Nah, I should finish up too. Thanks, Shamir. I have to work out new unit formations for our next battle. Hmm. You're pretty conscientious for a mercenary. That's rare in our profession. Well, sorry to cut and run. Good luck with all that. No worries, I can handle it. It's my responsibility, after all. Right, well, if you ever need a hand, just let me know. Really? Thanks. Dependable as always, Shamir. Honestly, you're so mature for your age. You always seem so composed, almost wise. Even when we're just chatting. I wouldn't say wise. Save that for the higher-ups. I just mind my own business. Plenty of mercenaries do the same. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. You know, you're pretty easygoing yourself, even by Merc standards. Have you been on your own for long? Didn't you belong to a mercenary group at some point? Yeah, but I bounced around a lot. Let's see, the company I was with the longest was... Probably Burling's Mercenaries, the last one I joined. But then we clashed with Geralt's band, and I was the only one who survived. There isn't a mercenary who hasn't lost someone or something along the way. The losing trusted comrades... stays with you. Yeah. Captain Burling, Getz, Lasley... We were a tight-knit group, if a little rough around the edges. I would have been content staying with them till the end. What the- that stupid dog just ran into my room to bark and then run away. Sorry if you heard that. I'm like, he's normally fine, but this is the second time in like three streams that Lex has run in here and barked out of nowhere. I might have to start like locking him on one side of the house or something while I stream, which is annoying to have to do, but this dog is being annoying. Maybe your experience is what's made you so pragmatic. It takes real strength to overcome past hardships and move on. That's what I think, anyway. You know, you seem way more pragmatic than me. I wonder what made you that way. You should know not to pry into a mercenary's past. But if the right moment comes, maybe I'll tell you about it. Maybe. What chapter am I on? Chat, is this chapter 8? We're on chapter 8 right now, right? And chapter 8 only has one fight in it, and that's all? Dog saw Shamir couldn't stop barking, I understand. <laughs> that's a good comment. Just the person I was looking for. Do you have plans for the rest of the day? No, not really. I'm surprisingly free for once. Thought I'd put in some extra training. An admirable use of time. But I have a task I could use your help with that should prove even more enriching than training. Will you join me? Absolutely! Hey, if you're asking, I'm in! I thought as much. Come, we leave at once. Holst, isn't this- Shh! Lower your voice. There may well be sentries on patrol nearby. So this is enemy territory. Great. See that encampment over there? They set up just a few days ago. It's difficult to tell from here, but it doesn't seem to be that big of an operation. Wait, so this is a recon mission? Don't we have scouts for this sort of thing? I've been trying to ascertain how far the enemy has advanced. But lately, they've tightened up their security. 
Too many of our scouts have gone missing. I thought it would be more efficient to look into the matter personally. Still, I've never heard of a Duke's son doing recon. It saves everyone time if I do it myself, and I don't have to risk any more valuable soldiers. And besides, this way I can gain even more experience in the field. Even better than training, wouldn't you say? Speak for yourself. I had no idea what I was getting into, so I'm not close to ready for whatever's ahead. I know you're not the type to go down so easily. Trust me, you'll thank me for this later. Ah, and don't make light of reconnaissance. There are many lessons to be learned out here that training could never hope to teach you. <sighs> All right, so what's next? We gonna take a closer look? Might as well, yes. It couldn't hurt to get into a little scuffle and gauge the enemy's strength. Sounds like the perfect opportunity to see you fight up close. All right, let's do this. That's the spirit. Now let's move. You're not supposed to be here! Seems we've been spotted. My name is Hol Sigiswald Goneril. Those with any skill or courage, have at thee! Why tell the enemy your name? Maybe Recon really isn't his thing. Oh, Holst. Holst, Holst, Holst. I don't like having to do like four supports in a row, but since we only have one fight in this chapter, kinda had to. Normally, I would have liked to have done like two of those and then do one of the missions and then do another two, but alas. Which battlefield are you headed to? We don't have any kind of paralogue, do we? Never mind. You have unlocked the paralogue battle mercenary complications. All right, so we have a paralogue to do with Leone and Shamir first, actually. And then we do a rematch at Fodlin's Locket. We get the Shamshir and the Dahaka. A massive Almiran army is assembled to assail Fodlin's Locket once more. All right, all right. Well, we have to do the paralogue first. Is there anything else I want to do Make in sure camp before we get to the paralogue? Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. I really want to be able to get higher tier battalions soon. Need four more knights insignias. Ba -bum, bum, ba -bum. 